Today we're going to talk about Perky Pet Classic Finch Feeder. I will take the paper wrapping off of it and we'll talk more about the feeder. So with this feeder we have a plastic hanger. Uh, the top of the feeder where you fill your seed just unscrews. This uh, feeder you fill with uh, thistle seed. As you can see the holes are just designed for thistle seed. At the bottom there are some drainage holes to allow the water to escape. Now to clean this feeder it looks like you have to unscrew it. There is one, two, three, three screws that you have to unscrew to take this feeder apart. Inside the feeder we have a package and this package contains the uh, purchase for the birds to uh, sit on while they eat their, their seed. So we'll take this apart out of the bag here. These are just plastic and they just slide into these holes here. It appears, oh, that's what you got to do. You got to push these until they clip. You hear that clicking sound. And then they're, they're in there quite securely. Before I just had them in like there and it seemed like they would just fall out. Well they would have fell out. But put them in, click them, and uh, actually you could probably put them in. Let's put them all in and see what happens when I take this apart. Let's just grab a screwdriver. And we'll take this feeder apart to see how user friendly this feeder is going to be. Okay, so I got my screwdriver, and it's a Phillips screwdriver. We'll just take uh, that part there and see what happens. Okay, so just keep on screwing it. There we go. That just pulls right out. See the end of the screw right there. This you can pull out. Oh, yeah, you can pull it out. And one here. A little bit more. And that comes out. And then one more. That pulls away. Comes out. Heck, slides out. The bottom slides out. Pulls away. The whole thing comes right apart. Easy access to clean it. So let's see how easy it is to put back together. And there's a little fit, it, 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 groove there. And it looks like it fits inside itself. I'd almost say a sixteenth of an inch. So we'll put the bottom in. And we should put the top in. bottom in and end up with that hole. That and into there. And then we gotta find one without a screw. And we'll just screw that right back in. So when you put this bottom one in that hole there has to line up with these 
slots. There's a hole on each side and a slot on each side. And this perch, the bottom of the perch here, is what holds up the, the, the bottom of the, uh, the feeder, the floor. Got another one, Just slide it in. Line them up, screw it in. more at the top. And it don't matter if that goes in that side or on this side. So all that's left to do with this feeder is to fill it up with some niger and a place to hang it. And see what the birds think of it. This whole feeder itself is made out of plastic. The top, the hanger, the tube, the perches, they're all plastic. But we'll see how well it does. Before I fill this feeder up with bird seed, I should mention that once you get these perches in there, once you hear that clicking noise, you can't pull these perches back out. They're in there for good. If you try to pull them out, this part here starts to pull away from the tube. I don't know if you can see that or not. So you just can't, uh, those suckers are in there good. So I'll fill this feeder up and we'll see what the birds think of it. So about within five minutes of hanging this bird feeder, this finch was able to find it. And I'm quite surprised how quickly he found it because I didn't realize that we had any finches in the yard. And I'm thinking that it's because of the bird feeder's bright yellow color is what attracted this finch to the feeder. Here's an inside shot and as I pan out you can see the uh, window screen. But overall, I think this would uh, make a great feeder. The perches seem to be sturdy. The birds are able to access the the seed. And I also noticed that the um, when they were taking the seed out of the feeder, that there was no feed being spilled on onto the ground. So if this is a feeder that may interest you, I'll leave a link below if you want to purchase it online. And until the next bird feeder review. I will see you later. Thanks for watching.